let me ask you the simple question then. If you believe Muhammad treated his wives equally, can you tell me what happened to the Saudam? Sorry, my staff are here. Can you come to this way, please? Okay. Sir, can you tell me what happened to the Sauda? You uh, first of all answer the question of a man, how can he tell you were married when the man never married, never had a wife, never had no children? So your question is to me. If I am a, a married man, I got wife, I got children, I can tell someone who I'm not no children. You know, I can give him the advice. How can he give the advice, right, when the man never married? Yeah. Let me respond to that question. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. My name is Hatun. Nice to meet you. So let me respond to the question. How can Jesus give advice on marriage while he is not married? It looks like you didn't listen to me. Jesus tells us he is the groom who died for his bride, which is the church. Let me ask you a simple question. You've got lots of people who make law in this country. Okay? Do they have to practice the law they did? No. They are the lawgivers, they, they just tell what is the law all about. Therefore, Jesus doesn't need to tell us, or Jesus does not need to practice us while he is the lawgiver. For example, let me give you another example. If someone makes a claim, if someone makes a claim that uh, from now on, you are going to eat the way I eat. You are going to um, pray the way I pray. You are going to have sex the way I have sex. Yet that person failed to eat the way they supposed to eat, failed to have sex in the way they supposed to have sex with their spouses. That sitel, even though he's married, cannot be my example. Muhammad falls in that category. While Muhammad teaches and Allah teaches, you cannot treat your wife unjustly if you treat Sorry, you, yeah, you can you can't treat your wives unjustly. If you treat them unjustly, just stick to one wife. While he teaches that, he goes and practice that. Yet he fails in that marriage relationship. That's where sort of Sophia steps in. How many wives did Muhammad had? To my knowledge, correct me. I think thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Islamic tradition tells us from 9 to 13. Okay, so did Muhammad, as a best example, who is the married, so he can speak on marriage, because he was married, just a moment, yeah, because he was married, okay, so he can speak on marriage. When you look at the marriage life of Muhammad, would you be, ta would you be able to tell us, actually Muhammad had perfect married marriage life? I believe so, yes. Okay. No, I'll no, give no, you, no, no, let no. me give you an no, example. No, no, no. The, even the Quran says, when Why? even the, the verse in the Quran where... Sorry, can you come in this way? My staff are here. Sorry. Even, even, even the verse in the Quran said when, I think, when they were starving, the wife sometimes were starving and the other people out, they were having that worldly, worldly, you know, gain of this world. How the other people stand them, then his wife complained. And the Allah re revealed that verse in the Quran, where said you can have the life of the world, of this world, but the hereafter will be consequences. Because you know, at a certain time they were starving, they didn't have nothing to eat in the house, and this, then his wife, they complained. You know? Continue, I'm yes, going to I'm gonna respond. Complained. So there's a certain verse here in the Quran that, yeah, uh, where, where this, the, the, prof, the prophet wife complained about the lack of food, you know, while other people are enjoying themselves. Okay. Um, can you show me the verse? I, I'm not sure. I think okay. four, but I so, come across. I'll take your word on that, and then I'm going to ask you a question on that. While Muhammad's wives were starve, starving from the food, did you have? Did he have any other wives who had lots of food, or while one wife was without food? I'm not sure whether they specifically said how many wives, but I know there's a fact. You can, um, there's a, for a fact, there's a verse in the Quran, I think, uh, where Muhammad wife, uh, they were complaining in a, in, a, in a way that, for example, you know, where people got so many food, uh, you know. I'm not familiar with the verse. If you give me yeah, the yeah. reference, I'll, re I, I'll look I'll at it. I'll check and I'll come back to you, but okay. I don't know. But so, I know when Allah said, 
Because basically, when you look at other people's things and say, wow, you got so much food, and I think that's the time when they did complain. I, I, yeah, I'm not, talk, not, I'm not talking food. about, I'm not talking about while other people who are not a family of Muhammad had so lots of so food. Made a, so, sort of so I'm asking, let's say both of you are the wife of Muhammad. While you had no food, did the other wife obviously had lots of food? Obviously they would have shared, yeah. Yeah, so that's not in the Quran, okay? That's not in the Quran, and they would share because they live as a family life. But my question is, did Muhammad treat his wives equally? So, can you tell me how was Muhammad's engagement with Aisha and how was his engagement with Hafsa? What, you mean the dowry? No, no. So how did Muhammad dealt with Aisha and then how did Muhammad dealt with Hafsa? So Muhammad needs to treat them justly. Okay? If Muhammad is giving 500 gram lanterns to Aisha, he needs to give 500 gram lanterns to Hafsa. Okay? Or Sada, or Sophia, or Zainab. So how did Muhammad de deal with Aisha and with uh, Sada? When, when it comes to sharing, you mean? Uh... So he needs to treat them justly. For example, uh, 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 sorry for my example, no, apologize. The Quran, say, the Quran say married women of your choice. Are you against two, of that? Two, three, and four. But if you can't do just with them, marry only yeah, one. Yeah. So I believe that this refer, generally refers to the humanity as I'm a married man. If I want to take a second wife, then I should be able to deal just with them. Yeah. You sleep with one, you gotta sleep with the other. You buy a BMW for one, you also gotta buy a BMW. But yeah, you can can buy a Volkswagen. So in that sense, yeah, I believe that. And that's the only book on the face of the earth where he said marry only one. There's no other book on the face of the marry earth. Marry only four. So uh, no, marry only one if you can't. If you're conscious, yeah. Marry only yeah. One. So, are you against, just a moment. Are you against just a moment. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna respond to that. Just a moment. So you are you are you said your interpretation for the surah 4 verse 3 which talks about married one or two or three sorry one, married one and two yeah two and three and four but if you can't and do if you can't do yeah marry only one so i believe so that this i is listen i listen you well yeah. now can i speak yeah, so and then you said you give me an example for example if you are sleeping with aisha let's say your aisha is your wife on mondays three hours you need to sleep with um Mariam, uh, Tuesdays for three hours. So, know, yeah. Yeah. I, so I, you I, need I, to you need to give them equal time, and yeah. then you said if you are buying BMW, buy yeah, yeah. yeah, then you need to if you buy one to Aisha and then you need to buy one to um, Mariam. So if they are your wives, so that's the way you treat them equal. That's the time. My question steps in. Did Muhammad do that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you give me? Can you give me an example, or can you tell me the story? Why did Muhammad, why did Muhammad, um, to um, sleep with Aisha instead of it, it with Hafsa, uh, not Hafsa, sorry, Sauda? Are you against of more marry against of um, a man having more wives? Um, Are you my, against of that? my Bible teaches. Are you against that? I'm against that. My yeah. Bible. Let me finish. My Bible teaches marriage takes place between one man and one woman until death pa death part them until death separated. So I'm asking the question. Mm. I'm asking the question which I did already. Mm. Did Muhammad treated his wife equally? equally? Yeah, he so did. he did. Can you tell me how much time did Muhammad spend with Aisha? Versus how much time did Muhammad spend with uh, Saddam? Can, really can, can I answer your yes. question? Just in case we walk away, I'm only from Cardiff. I'm from Cardiff, so we meet few people. Right. First time I've been here in 20 years. Yeah. So, no, I'm not ducking away, but I want to meet few people now. I'm going to tell you Just I was asking her how come Abraham, how many wives he had. She believed she believe in Abraham. She believed in, she believe in Abraham. Yeah. She believed in Jesus. She believed in Abraham, don't you? Sir? She believed in Abraham. What what do you mean believe in Ibrahim? I believe in Jesus, and who Abraham. is who is the unique son of God, who came and died on the cross for the sin of mankind. Do you believe so, in Ibrahim, Moses? My Bible talks about Moses. My Bible you talks about... Sir, him. excuse me. Uh, your brother just left, left away. I, my Bible talks about them. And then I see them as the men of God who they are were men of God. They are men of God. How many who were... Just, just a moment, just a moment. It has nothing to do with my question. 
Why it has nothing to do with my question is because I already told you, Bible tells me marriage takes place between one man and one wife. Mm -hmm. So that's what Bible teaches. People did lots of lots of things and then God rebuked them in the occasions, God condemned them what they have done. My question to you is, can you just tell me how did Muhammad treated Aisha and then how did Muhammad treated Saudi? Equally, he treated them equally. How? Equal. How? How equal? It's equal. So, did Muhammad, while he was married with, I'm not going to say that, because as you talk about Lord Jesus Christ, you never say, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, he's our Savior. So you never say that. If I say Jesus, I say, peace be don't, upon don't, him. Don't, please don't destroy my God. Don't, do, don't say that. That's, he, he's already peace. He's the peace of did the world. He, ate food? he did. Did he eat food? Sir? Did Jesus eat food? Just a moment. I ask a question. So did Jesus I, I'm going to respond those questions after you answer my questions regarding what happened between Aisha and Sauda. Okay? So, according to um, Islamic traditions, According to? According to Sahih Bukhari, for example, mm -hmm. according to Ibn Katir, mm -hmm. when we look at the background of the Surah 4, verse 128 and 100 to 130, I read Which it surah? for you. Surah 4, 128 to 130. Surah 4? Surah 4, 128 to 130. Shall I read it for you? Sir, can you come this way because my stuffs are here. Can I read it for you? Yeah. And if a woman fear from fears from her husband, contempt and evasion, there is no sin upon them. If they make terms on settlement between them, and settlement is best, and present in human souls is stinginess. But if you do good and fear Allah, then indeed Allah is ever of what you do aware. And you will never be able to equal, be able, be able to be able to be equal between wives even you should um, strive to do so so do not incline comp complementary uh, towards one and leave another hanging and if you a man and fear allah then indeed allah is ever forgiving and merciful so background of this surah this verse do you know what is the background mm -hmm. what is the background you tell me so you don't know no. Okay. That's okay. It's okay to say you don't know. Yeah. So, background of the surah tells us, verse tells us, um, Sauda was one of the wives of Muhammad. Okay? She married, um, um, Muhammad married her in early time of, um, soon after Khatija died. Okay? So that's like uh, multiple, uh, uh, earliest multiple wives. Mm -hmm. And also tells us, Muhammad told her, He's going to divorce her because she's old. Mm -hmm. Okay? Where did you get this information Ibn Katir. from? Ibn Katir. Can I see it? Sir, can I have the book please? So this is Ibn Katir, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm going to read it from here. Allah states, and those, do you want to read it? Mm -hmm. So it goes about how she elates, and then it talks about... Abu Dawud Tayalisi recorded that Ibn Abbas said, Sauda feared that the Messenger of Allah might divorce her, and she said, O Messenger of Allah, do not divorce me. Give my day to Aisha. 
and he did. Later Allah sent down the revelation of the Surah, um, surah 128. Aisha said, Sauda bin Zawad become old. She, for um, how do you pronounce this? Forfeited her day to Aisha and the Prophet used to spend Sauda's night with Aisha. So she becomes old, she fears that Allah Muhammad is going to divorce her and then she comes up with the solution. Muhammad don't divorce me. Instead of um, instead of divorcing me, um, you can sleep on my night with Aisha. Does this look like to you that um, and then let me read it again. Who a man who is married to is old woman. Who was cho did she choose that? Or Sorry? Muhammad who chose that? Say it again? She chose that for herself. No, she fears that she, Muhammad is going to divorce her. Muhammad is telling her, I'm going to divorce you. Mm -hmm. She comes up with the solution. Don't divorce me. Sleep with, uh, uh, instead of sleeping with me that night, sleep with Aisha. So, so she is the so, one who brings the solution. So even so, if even if that's true, what's the problem you have with that? Quran tells us in Sunnah 4 verse 3, treat your wife justly. Muhammad doesn't treat her justly. Just. Let, me, let me respond. Muhammad doesn't treat her justly because, are you married, sir? Yes, I am. So, I'm sure you don't have sex with your wife every night. No. No. Not so, robots. So, <laughs> yeah. sorry for the question. I apologize yeah. for the question. So, marriage life can take place when there are the nights men and husband and wife doesn't have sex. Okay? There is a man who so, could have yeah, sex so, every, every day. So that, men are not the same. So, but it can take place, still you are married to your wife, and still you love her, still you care for her, mm -hmm. even though you don't have sex. So Muhammad, instead of um, telling her she, he might divorce her, simply just say, I'll come, it's, it's, when it's your turn, I'll come to you. We don't have to have a sex. They can just sit down and have a chat. Or they just can go to sleep together. It doesn't mean they have to have he sex. He doesn't go to her and have a chat. Because Savda says, Savda gives her nights to Aisha. Her if they, nights? Her nights. But her turns. What's day? Sorry? What about her day? Are you trying to tell? So you don't know. I'm so, just I'm so, asking. So you are you are you are implying actually, if Savda is giving her nights, there is probably Savda was having sex with uh, Muhammad during the day. You never know. You never know. I don't know. I don't so know. are you trying to tell me when a man? I'm, I'm trying I, to yeah, tell so you I'm if that's true. She given her night to other wife. What's the problem with that? If okay. she choose to give, if you choose to give me your jacket, yeah. What do you have to do with that? Okay, here's the thing. So, Sauda is not choosing that. Sauda, cho Sauda is choosing that because she's fear that Muhammad is going to divorce her. She doesn't want to get divorced. I'm not saying, oh, it's speaker's corner. It's very cold. Please do have my coat. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, oh. You are gonna, you are gonna kill me if I don't give you coat, or um, should I go home? I say, oh, I want to stay at the corner. Let me give you my coat. I am choosing because I fear that you are going to kill me in this occasion. Just, just a moment. Let me. I'll come to you. Just a moment. But in this occasion, Stauda fears that she's going to get divorced. And I'll ask you something very practical. If woman is old, okay, and then woman says, take my nights and sleep with Aisha, and at night, it's dark. So they didn't have electricity, they didn't have the torch to check out if woman is fat or if woman is beautiful at night. They couldn't see one another, like in the, with the full details. Daytime, they are able to see one another. Are you trying to tell me Muhammad was willing to have sex with Sauda? during the daytime but not night time. Yeah. You need to back that up because Tafsir doesn't be. say that. I don't know. It Can could I ask be. you something? Do you read, have you read the Hadith or the but, Tafsir? Sorry, just a moment, just a moment. The, the one he said I'm going to give you the words. Is the Hadith or the Tafsir? Just a moment, just a moment. Uh, I'm to, see it, can, see it. Uh, but it comes from the Hadith. Okay. Um, Where's the Hadith? Just, I'm going to show it to you. By the way, it's not Sauda is giving her nights. Sauda is giving her... Uh, Sauda is giving her day to Aisha. So it's not about the night, it's her day, 24 hours. Like so there is no sex, there is no sex with Sauda and Muhammad 
that goes to the Aisha. So that shows Mohammed failed to treat his wife um, equally and justly. Because we read, I, I'm going to come to you, we read from the same um, Islamic tradition, Sahih Bukhari, there is a jealousy between wives, okay? Um, one of the wives of Mohammed comes to uh, Mohammed and then says, People are giving you lots of gifts. So people are bringing lots of gifts to Aisha because you are in the in her house. Muhammad response to that is revelation comes to me when I am in the bed with Aisha or when I am Aisha's garment. Where did you get that? Can I make a point here? Yeah, you do make your point and then yeah. She just made a point here that Muhammad visa Bonnie wanted to give a divorce to his wife. But the Quranic word so, say it again? Muhammad Hassan wanted to give a divorce to Sauda, yes? He wanted to give divorce. So so she said, okay, don't give me divorce. I give my night to Aisha, yes. Then she point out the verse in the Quran. It says, treat your wife justly. Uh -huh. Now what Muhammad Hassan is doing here? He's not treating his wife unjustly. What he's just saying there, I want to give you divorce. And you're allowed to give divorce to anyone if you want, yes? Just yeah. no, no, no. Let me okay. make a point here. If you have four wives, and you say, I want to give you divorce, in Islam, you're allowed to do that. To, yeah. What you're not allowed to do it, you still have a wife, but you say, I don't want to sleep with you, I want to sleep with her. That is not just. But if one wife's wife says, I give you permission, my night, to give her that night, she's giving you permission. So it's a justice, if she's giving you permission, you are not unjust here. Mm -hmm. Like you say, she's yeah. giving you permission. What he says here, what he realized here, he might not do justice if he, she, he doesn't sleep with her, but with Aisha. So he said, I'm going to give you divorce. And that is allowed in Islam. Yeah. So he was not Let going... Let me respond to he, that. One minute. Yeah. He was not going against the Quran. He was just saying, I'm going to give you divorce. She said, look, I still want to be your wife. I do not have any desires mm -hmm. of sex and everything. I give my time to Aisha. To Aisha yeah. So this is just, just, just fair. Let me he, yeah. He's not forcing her. Okay, let me respond. Her, yeah. Let me respond. Why? Why she is feared? That she's going to get divorced. You read the story. Why? Yeah, what? She allowed to give just a moment. Just a moment. Just, again, so, I, just I a moment. So just a moment. Here when you're reading the hadith. Just a moment. Why she was fear that she was going to um, Muhammad is going to divorce her. You read the story. What was the reason? I read it again. Can you read it again? She Can was it again? because she was old. Okay. That's what she thought. Because no, she no, no. Old. That's not what she thought. That's what mm -hmm. uh, Aisha states because she was old. And then when you look at the other Islamic tradition on Savda, we know Savda is a huge fat woman. So that was the main reason. Big woman. No, it says fat. But and doesn't huge. matter even if she is a fat so what? Yeah, many, that doesn't matter. Wife, so what? Yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. But that is the reason behind Mohammed to give her divorce. Because oh, Aisha so says, say you are fat, I, that's why I'm giving you divorce. Can, can, you, no, can you listen? You weren't here. You, 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 words in the mouth of Muhammad Sallallahu You weren't here when I was reading the story. Okay, so, what is it story tells us, you, story sorry, tells us she problem. was old. I asked you one thing earlier, but you didn't yeah. want to answer. I said, do you have a problem of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Mary more than one walk. I do. That's problem. You have problem. So but in let me hand, give you. Let me give you. One just one, one, one point. Each one point. Please okay. Finish, I finish. I finish. I didn't finish my point. In another hand, you believe in Abraham. You believe in Moses, the man of God. But you accept they have more than one wife. Solomon, David, Solomon, yeah. David. Uh, let me respond. You accept. You accept they have more than one let, wife. Can I respond? So. And they were men of God. Just a moment. <laughs> Let me respond. I, mean, I don't have a problem. I know what you're going to say. Uh -huh. Let me respond. Example, they are Sir, the I'm here. I can speak on behalf of oh, you. Speaking on I'm... behalf of Muhammad. <laughs> so I'm speaking on behalf of Muhammad. Let me respond. Only... So, <laughs> let me respond. I do have a problem uh -huh. with men to marry more than one wife. Mm -hmm. Because let, I'm going to give you the, my reasons. Because, sorry, they just took my book. Because Bible teaches marriage is between one man and one woman. Is it Bible, just, let me finish. I'm go, so I'm going to respond. Just give me time, okay? Remember, I gave you time. Mm. That's what I would expect, mm -hmm. okay? And I know Islam doesn't give you that much respect to the woman. So, Muhammad. I know. <laughs> God. Bible teaches marriage between one man and one husband. Uh -huh. Sorry, one man and one woman. 
Muhammad goes against the teachings of the Bible, which proves so Muhammad is false prophet. So is that Abraham. Yes. And yes. Yes. He's and a David. Solomon. I, I, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. And and, and Jesus. Muhammad is identified. Jesus has no wife. He has no wife. Yeah. He again, also. And so Muhammad awesome. is identified as the best example to mankind, and Muhammad lived behind his Sunnah. Salah Remember Salah. Quran and his Sunnah. Yes, in the Bible, we've got the people of God, men of God, they sin against God and they sin against one another. Even though God told in the beginning, his plan for man and woman to one man and one woman marries and become one flesh, people of God broke that law. People of the God broke that law. What was the punishment of Let me respond. The law. I'm going to respond. Okay, what I'm was his punishment? Appas, I'm responding and that doesn't help. Okay? And when those people break the law of God, Bible still tells us the story. Okay? And there is nowhere in the Bible, Bible tells me, Abraham is the best example to mankind. Follow his example. There is nowhere in the Bible tells me Moses is the best example to there is, mankind. There is I haven't nowhere, finished. There is no way in the finished. Bible it says I haven't finished. Jesus is God or he claimed divinity. So let me I'm gonna respond to that as well, okay? And there is nowhere in my Bible I am told David is the best example to me, therefore follow. But you have the problem. Muhammad is the best example to mankind mm -hmm. and his That's actions, right. his actions are disturbing. Here's the thing. I'll, I'll, I'll give you two comparative you know, ask stories. Her why Bible says David was of the heart of God. Yeah. David Man was in of God's the heart own of God. heart. Yeah. That's a big Man title. Man is in God's own heart. No, no, but yes. Yes. Yeah, he's so in God's somebody who's the God's own heart, but doing so much sin, yeah. marrying so many yeah. wives. Yeah. 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 Let me respond. God's heart is yeah. not very clean. Then. Let me, let me respond very, to that. Very good heart let, God. Don't don't, don't do blaspheme. Let Seriously, me respond to that. You, you are making it back. Abbas, I'm going to respond. Okay, okay. show so, me the punishment I'm gonna of, respond. of Abraham. Just a moment. Show me the punishment of David and Solomon. I'm going to respond. God. They done so, sin. Let's just compare. Even though David is not my example, let's compare David to Muhammad. Oh. So, no David, yeah. just a moment. One man, one wife. David yes, we are talking about it. We are talking one man and one wife. Yeah. What David did is. You all know the story of Bathsheba. I'm not talking he, about the story of Bathsheba. He, I'm talking about his wife. So many wives. That's a different story altogether. You want Appas, to go to I'm story? responding. Give you me time to respond. Bashiba? So, <laughs> David he says. With a, so had a sex with another soldier's wife. And then he uh, 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 Yeah. David has sex with someone who is not his wife. And this woman was married. And then he ordered his hus her husband to be killed so he can, she can ma he can marry her. What happened? Prophet of God come and condemned the actions of David. What happened after that? Let me read something what happened after that. Okay? God disciplined David. The way God disciplined David. Seriously. We are not going to go anywhere apart from that story now. Let's see the so, discipline of God. The way God wow. disciplined David. This is, you have to be in 15 minutes because okay. I have prayer. This is okay, I'm, I'm, go, I'm just going to respond. I'm just going to respond to this. And on. then you, I'll give you time to she's go. Okay? So, on. As David sinned against God, yes. sinned against and woman, God disciplined him. and then God disciplined him. God yeah. sent his prophet, yeah. and then here's what David says, okay? Have mercy on me, O oh God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blood out of my trans transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Yeah. It's called Psalm 51. You yeah. go and read it. It's yeah. 19 You're verses. I I don't know. Sir, just a moment. Just a moment. It's 19 verses. Uh -huh. God condemns what David did. Yeah. David repented. Okay? Mm -hmm. And God disciplined David. Mm -hmm. His son died. He went through lots of things. God disciplined him. Let's look at it with, with minute, that. Minute. Ask her Just a moment. What was the Appas, punishment I, Appas, the punishment Appas, the punishment Appas, Appas, he's going to go. I'm going to talk to you when he goes. Okay? No, just, no, I want to no, hear. No, he I want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I want to so, tell us in the, in the, in the, the short, punishment. In the short, the what was the punishment of David? Because I have a prayer I catch. God condemned David. And then we come. We come. Psalm 51. Where David is asking forgiveness and repentance. Okay? Yes. Yet, 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 
When you look at the Muhammad, no, no, no. It's the same story. It's a similar David, the story. Let me finish. The punishment first. Can I tell you what was his punishment? I'm going to respond. I, she's not giving I am me responding. You're not giving me chance. Apas, okay. he, the, the uh, yes, I am giving. I am giving you the answer, but you are not listening. You're not okay? going to Muhammad. So, Don't go to Muhammad. Don't Don't go. Let me finish David my punishment. Let me finish my answer, mm -hmm. and then we look at the life of Muhammad, and then we see no, his punishment what first. Muhammad did. The punishment did first. The punishment is so. If she's not going to give you punishment, what Muhammad I'm did? I am going to give the you the answer. Here. You are the not giving me the answer. You are not giving me the chance. Okay? Give me three minutes. I'm answering your questions. You already speaking for five minutes. When we look at the life of Muhammad, we see what Muhammad did to Sophia, okay? In 2017-18 language, it is called rape. Did Muhammad repent it? No. Do we read something in the Bible as Psalm 50, in the Quran, something look like Psalm 51? No. Do we read from the Quran, God, Allah, disciplined Muhammad? No. Therefore, therefore, you cannot compare David to Muhammad. As I told you, David is not my role model. David is not my example. Those are the stories of people in history, what they have done, and it is written in the Bible. And remember something, Quran came to confirm the Bible. That's our debate we were going to talk about. Quran came to confirm the Bible. Allah doesn't have any problem with David. Allah doesn't have any problem with Abraham or Moses. God of Bible tells us marriage takes place between one man and one husband, one man and I one woman for, forever until they death part them separate, until death steps in. But you still not responding my questions regarding the way now? Muhammad treat Sauda and the way Muhammad treat Aisha that is unjust and Muhammad goes against his own revelation. Can I speak one minute? Go on. Can I have one minute now? No. Look, she's very generous. She just covered the punishment of David. There was a punishment. What David's sin happened, there was a punishment. Not only repentance. You know what was the punishment was? Mm -hmm. Let me read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 21. Chronicles. Yeah? Yes. Chronicles, sorry. Chronicles. Chronicles. 1 Chronicles chapter 21. It's uh, from verse 1 it tells what David did and what God says he's going to do to him. Verse 13 and 14 is very important. And David said unto God, Gad, I am in great strait. Let me fall into now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies. But let me not fall into the hand of man. What God did then? So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel 70,000 men. You know what that means? God the woman, punished it, what it's my David turn. did, and turn. God disciplined David. Turn. It's my turn. One minute, eh? One minute. It, I think it was more than a minute. Okay, okay. It's my turn. You see why he's interfering? You know what happened? That David done the sin, and God killed 70,000 Israelites for his sin. Not David. David was watching. Oh, God. Oh no, oh, oh man, they're, they're killing the, the, the Lord of the angel of the Lord is killing 70,000 and he said, Oh Lord, and that was his punishment. Okay, your point is? God did not, uh, sin of the David was punished by 70,000 Israelites. Okay, Where is the justice here, brother? Where is, Where is the, the justice, justice of God? Yeah. Justice. How, what kind of a God is there? Okay, hang on, I thought she was talking to me. I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm no, gonna no, respond no, when no, you finish. She couldn't, she couldn't help herself. Okay, look, he couldn't help. You know why? Because you know how much you know how much she make a fool of herself. She is telling us that God, David done the sin, and God say, okay, I forgive you. But she forgot to tell us very, very conveniently that God killed seventy thousand Israelites for what? Because David done the sin. David, what kind of a God is there? Yeah. What kind of a justice is that? Answer me. So I'm, I'm gonna respond to that. No, you can't. You're not able to respond to that. I'm telling you that. I'm just joking. A pass, a pass. <laughs> Since when Try. are Try you it. God? Huh? Are you God? <laughs> you mean God or God? God. Because there's a God. Are well. you God? <laughs> are you the creator of everyone? Uh, no. 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 Last time when I checked, no, you weren't God either. So now, since you I'm don't know what I'm gonna I'm, say, I'm just shush and I'm listen. So let me let me close the topic on how Muhammad was unjust, and then I'll deal with the biblical passage. But how can that be just? Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna respond. Just? Can I respond? So if Muhammad is so unjust can because I he respond? wants to divorce and his God, wife, God. just want to divorce his no, wife. No, he wants to divorce her because she's old. Yeah. He can't have sex with her. Did he say that? It, yes. Did he say that? I'm divorcing you because I, you're old. I, I should. Sure. I should. I should tell something. No, no. I should. Did Muhammad say that you are old? That's why I'm divorcing you.
Did he say that? In the hadith, Aisha tells or she, or she us what happened. So she, you can play with all those words, but however you want. Read it. You can play. Your Bible. You can play with all I'm those things. Your but about you it. So let me let me respond to the first of all how Muhammad was unjust. Yet as a Muslim, you are told to follow him, and then I'm going to respond to the David. Okay. So I look at the Quran. As Quran teaches, man can marry one and two and three and four he women. Say that. Lie again. He said two, three, and four. Two, three, he and said four. One. Yeah. Two, three, or four. If you can't do justice, then He's marry only, only one. one. So don't say. That. As Quran four states, as Quran states, you can marry up to four wives mm -hmm. if you treat them justly. We look at the life of Muhammad, and then we see Muhammad broke the revelation the which topic. Allah gave it to him. And I haven't finished. I listen. I listen. Up past and then. <laughs> No, you are lying. Married only one. You are lying. I tell you how. Who Muhammad he married, married? He married only one. Was Aisha listen, Muhammad's wife? Listen, was listen, Sophia listen, Muhammad's wife? Listen, was Khadija Muhammad's just wife? Listen, was Hafsa listen, Muhammad's wife? Just listen, was Mary the Coptic Muhammad's just wife? So Muhammad, clearly, Muhammad please, married. Please sir, him. I'm, right now I'm going to speak. He married only Muhammad one of his choice. The rest of his wife, Allah, he revealed to no, him. No, it's not no, by his no. choice. Bring your evidence for that. Bring your evidence for that. Muhammad no, I, used I woman say that. for his be, own. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, that wouldn't say he that. would disagree. That's wrong. I wouldn't say that he married only God of his choice. Which uh, one is because, that? Uh, because when uh, he married, what's the name? The Jewish lady. Sophia. Sophia. He, not he, married. He married for his first. choice. He, he saw her, he liked her, and he, he married with her. So, uh, he, it's, so it's anyway, let's. No, 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 sir. Anyway, you can. Have your in a house with while Christian is not that. Wife, he married with no, his, no, uh, no, no, Allah, Allah, so, Allah guided Allah him. Guided him as we looked at, as I, I brought you Surah 43, the only one married, and then we Allah saw wrong, how Muhammad break those Allah, commandments Allah, and then went against his own revelation. But we see, we see, Muhammad cannot be example to mankind. We see those verses within the Quran, within the Tafsir, within the Hadith, confirms that Muhammad is a false prophet and he was treating his wife very, very if, unjustly. If false so prophet, I, I, I have. It must be the, the Quran is false. Quran is false book anyway. Can